Hi guys, uh, it's me again, just another vlog updating you on uh, all my information, what I've been doing in the last couple of weeks. Um, what we actually did recently there, myself and Steve, we went over to Cornwall in England where he's from and uh, we actually went to uh, a kilt shop and where he's going to get his kilt and I have a sample of what he's going to be wearing. So it's in my, remember, I showed you this the last time, it's my the book that I got in Eason's. It's been really, really helpful and it's got little sections for everything in it. But right in here is, and unfortunately the light isn't great in here to show you exactly what it is, but that is the uh, material for his kilt. So as you can see, it's it might look a bit dark there, but that's actually, it's, it's quite a bright yellow. It looks probably a bit mustardy in this light, but it's more, we compared it, it is quite a daffodil yellow. Um, obviously you've got the, the, the black there, the white, and I didn't actually even realize this, but there's quite a nice, you know, blue color running through there. So that might be something that I might be able to pick up and put on the bridesmaids rather than what I was thinking was black. So it does give me a little something more to work with. And I also found over there that they do little ribbons in it. So, I, you know, I can decorate the cake with some of that ribbon or tie that around the chairs or, you know, it really helps me bring in the motif of the, of the kilt, his Cornish tartan. Uh, this is the national uh, Cornish tartan into the wedding. So, you know, the flowers can be tied in it or you can have ribbons going around the place, even tied in in the church. So yeah, it's really, really great that way. Um, and also when we went over to the uh, kilt shop, Steve tried on the, the kilt and I have to say he looked absolutely handsome in it. And uh, then his, his brother, who's gonna be his best man, uh, his father, his mom, they were also there as well, and his brother's girlfriend. And his dad actually tried on something for what my father will probably be wearing as well, which was actually, it was a waistcoat in the tartan with one of those, it's not the tie, but the piece of material, I don't know the correct terminology for it. He had one of those on, so it was quite nice. Uh, a little bit on the eyes, but <laughs> quite nice, because as, let me, let me remind you in case you forgot, it is yellow and black, like, but it's a spring wedding, gonna have lots of daffodils around, so I think it could tie in quite nice. Um, so yeah, we went over, we did that, uh, got a pricing off of the, the lady for the kilts, which was really good, and what we're probably going to do is, I'm probably gonna have to get my own father to go over. Uh, one of my brothers is also one of his groomsmen, because they're actually very, very good friends, and my older brother, we're all probably gonna have to go over there maybe September time and actually go for an actual fitting so that they can all get fitted for the wedding and then hopefully just make sure that they do not uh, put on any weight or lose any weight before the wedding, which is about maybe six months after that. Um, but obviously being the fact that it's coming from Cornwall, we can't be going back up, back over and, and forth, you know, trying on fittings. The only good thing about it is the guys will probably get their suits here in Ireland, but the waistcoats and the ties and the tartan pieces will come from there. So it's, it's not the entire outfit from there. So that works out quite well. So um, yeah, um, he is Cornish, not Scottish. Um, so that's his tartan. Cheers.